Welcome aboard the journey of a lifetime, where every wave carries us closer to adventure, and every moment is a celebration of the breathtaking beauty that is New Zealand. So after a quick ferry ride, we arrived in Wahiki Island. So here I am about to ride in a van with complete strangers in a completely unfamiliar place, outnumbered and alone. This is what happened. New Zealand is known for its breathtaking landscape and friendly locals. And despite my first day here, that was quite rough, I'm happy to report that my time here so far has been just amazing. So today I'm taking you on a little bit different adventures that started in a previous video where I actually was on the boat and started discussing my travel plans with a complete stranger who in turn decided to take me over to his friends so that they can show me the island. And I had to make a decision whether I was gonna go ahead and enjoy the island on my own or take the chance to take a van and ride with complete strangers. Being a solo traveler is something that I truly enjoy. However, it comes with inherent risks. There are benefits to being alone and just do things on your own time. But the drawback to that is you are also a little bit more vulnerable. Let's admit it, it can be fun to explore different landscape with brand new acquaintances. That's why some people prefer traveling and staying in hostels. It's because you get to meet people and you have friends right away and you never feel like you're by yourself. But what happens when that sense of adventure leads you to the unknown? That's basically the situation I found myself in when I was riding this boat on my way to Wahiki Island. We are crossing a lot of different islands here. So you can come in and have your own private island for the day. Check it out. We've crossed a few of them already. And uh, it's roughly about 30 to 40 minutes ride. It's not too bad. I'm selfish. Do you understand? Go take a look. I'll give you an idea what 20 million looks like. <laughs> wow. That's funny. I promise I got it under control. I promise I got it under control. Yeah. Yeah. about to make a stop here so we're just showing so they have a little cafe here you can buy some things beautiful view I'll bring you guys a view this is beautiful here You see the line, so every 30 minutes you have this ferry that runs. And I should also mention that they have car ferries in case you want to move your vehicle from the main city over there all the way. As a solo traveler, you are constantly balancing the thrill of adventure with the risk of potential dangers. And I had to make the decision for myself at that time, is it the best thing to do? to ride with this person. Hello, Kaden, okay, how are you? Good. I hope you don't mind, I'm doing vlogging yeah, for YouTube. All, good, all right. Good. So guys, meet Kaden. How's it going? How's you from going? New Zealand, right? Um, I was born and raised in Australia, but I've been over here for 15, oh, four or five years, sorry. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah. 
How you like it here? Yeah, it's good. I like it better. Yeah? Better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's nice. It's a big difference. Yeah, I like the vibe here more than Australia. I have yeah, to admit, yeah. it's, it's like more chill out here. It is. That's, that's, Sydney, that's my reasoning too. Yeah. Sydney was so like fancy. I was like, ah. Oh, that's too much people. You yeah. can say something to someone and they'll disappear. You'll never see them again. They will never see me again. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Wow, beautiful island of Wahiki out here. All right. So take map to the Nick Johnson house. Yep. The one that we are on the swimming pool. Yeah. And then take him to the mud bro. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, see, guys, a random encounter. That's why you have to travel solo sometimes. <laughs> you meet people. Yeah. Well, we've, got a, we've got some plans. It's all good. Yeah. We got yourself. Yeah, thank you, man. All good. It changes everything. <laughs> it does. It's yeah. So I was saying they have a car ferry, so you can move your your vehicle from the from Oakland main side over there to the different islands around. So he introduced me to his buddies. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, nice to meet you, man. You too, Ivan. Okay. Ivan. All right. On the truth I'm in, uh, yeah. So we're well, about to get in the car. And so, thank you so you, much. Good to so meet you. Yeah. Oh man. I'm seeing the stuff in the car. Oh, yeah. He's probably gonna rob you, but. <laughs> 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 Tell me, mate. There's not many oh, people. Nah. <laughs> so you guys, you guys all work together, is that yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. Jump in the van, bro. I'll Thank you go. again, man. I appreciate it. No, nice to meet you. All right. Tomorrow, give me another wager so I can sort it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. On this end. So I'm about to go check out that crib because I told him. I want to see what the house looks like, so that's the thing. We're gonna go and take a quick look at that fancy house these guys been building out here. Everything raised a red flag. I was alone, a familiar place, and I was completely outnumbered. So I decided to follow my instinct, and it led me to this place. All right. Yeah, okay, we're okay. Yeah. Some uh, New Zealand spirit. Do you like to drink? I do. Oh, oh. Um, so today. Do oh wow. Bourbon? bourbon cola. Oh, you just want to visit? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right. All right. So they already got me right up here, man. They're welcoming me with some drinks. Yep. Wow. Take it to this nice house. Yeah. Yeah, I just got here, you know, I figured I'd come and take a look at this beautiful island out here. Wahiki. So what's going on around here? Nah, my going bro, we just finished work. Now we're a tour bus back into work. Nah, my going bro. Yeah. Where you been so far? Where? Yeah, where about you been so far? Well, I just got here last night. Oh, right. Yeah, so I haven't done anything yet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I figured, you know, something I really want to do is have some wine in New oh, Zealand. Yeah. You gotta do that. You don't like wine? Oh, they do, huh? Yeah. yeah. This, would that be on the way? What's that? Oh, where he's going? Uh, part of it anyway. yeah. So, otherwise, when people get off that boat, how do they get to the vineyards from here if they don't have a ride like I do right now? Um, I think they either wait for a bus or a taxi. Oh, they have a bus or, or a taxi. Or, um, nah, Uber. Uber. Or if you pay for a wine tour, the wine tour will pick you up. Oh, okay, so Uber works out here? Yeah. Oh, okay, so for me to move from one vineyard to another won't be difficult? Nah, sure Okay. Alright. Mm. How about nighttime? What's going on here at night? Mm. He was telling me there's all kind of great stuff going on. <laughs> oh, is it boring like Oakland? Because yeah, Oakland was yeah, slow, man. I was like, oh, please. Slow? That's the that's one of the fast towns around here. This place right here? Nah, no, back in Auckland, it's the fastest city in New Zealand, supposedly. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, for yeah. I guess for a week, night it was slow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you have to wait 10 minutes to catch an Uber, even. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a pretty small island. Yeah. Not 
over here for the weekend, so we don't know what actually happens. Oh, but you guys I'll... don't live here? No, no. no you just work? We live yeah. in Auckland, yeah. Yeah, we live in Auckland. Okay. We just work over here. So we don't really, we don't really come over here. Yeah. And I should take this moment to say, anything can happen to anyone. You know, you try to be careful who you meet and where you go. That's how you stay alive in this world. I believe being a male, I felt a little bit more comfortable, even though really I was outnumbered. Shout out to solo female travelers out there, because I don't think that most women would have felt comfortable riding in a van with complete strangers this way. So shout out to solo female travelers out there who are conquering the world and traveling around all alone because I do believe it's a lot more dangerous being a woman and doing this. Even though something could happen to me as well, I could completely be empowered and outnumbered like I was in this particular situation, but I still followed along and it led me to this particular race. I can't help myself to hold on. So as I was riding in the back of this van, I was nervous. I was comfortable, but nervous. And I kept looking around, checking, hey, if I have to get out of here, which way will I do that? If I have to jump out of this van, what is the best way to do that? But these guys were very friendly, and eventually, the longer we stayed together, the more at ease I felt. Yeah, I was, I was lucky to meet that gentleman, you know? And when he told oh, me about man. the house, yeah, I figured, you know, instead of just going to film the wine, let me show people what the house at least from the outdoor, looks like out here in um, in a beautiful island. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you told me the the house are running for close to what twenty mil, huh? Yeah, I'd say so. About that. Yeah. It's pretty wow. expensive over here, anyway. Yeah, I see. So uh, apparently, um, one of the Venus uh, tennis player came over here before Johnny Depp. Several celebrities come through here. Oh yeah. 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 Apparently we just had Taylor Swift over here or something. Oh, Taylor Swift was here too? Oh, who else? Wow. So, um... <laughs> so we're entering the compound now. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I don't know who lives out here, but you nah, you can okay. imagine somebody really rich, huh? Don't even know if anyone's here. Wow. <laughs> we'll find out. We'll just say we're with royalty. Yeah. And there's two cars there. Yeah. Nice view for you. Wow. Nice view for the views. Wow, yeah, this is gorgeous. All right. I don't know if there's anyone here, but we'll, we'll still find out. So let's go ahead and uh, and take a look, guys. Like I said, this house is uh, it belongs to someone, and it runs for about twenty million dollars. So I can't go inside, but let me just give you a brief look of the view. All right. Oh man, this is this is gorgeous. So they have some uh, chairs that they have installed over here, and from here you can actually see where the boats arrive. And look at the beautiful green, bluish, pristine water, man! Wow. And then you have the swimming pool up here, man. So we are technically breaking into. This multi-million dollar property here. Working away. Yeah. Welcome to my first Wow, look at this place. Have we done all the plaster work on all the walls, please? Yeah, I don't think they've spent much time over here because... I don't think they have. And then they have horses over there. Oh, I thought it was a statue, but it's a real horse. <laughs> wow. So guys, I technically broke into this mansion out here in New Zealand. Did your favorite YouTuber ever break into a house like this? <laughs> I don't this think so. This is all for you. <laughs> so at least hit that like button, all right? At least hit that like button. Look at that. This is gorgeous. Wow. What's that? Oh yeah, yeah, Oakland is over there, way out there. Wow. This is nice. I have to be honest, 
this property is gorgeous, but it's mostly location. Yeah. What I'm yeah, saying yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. that they haven't taken care of the pool, so they probably don't spend much time over here. Oh, really? They're like typical rich people. They don't even know how many houses they have, <laughs> you know? And then they have a tennis court that obviously they don't use either because it's not in the best shape. Hey. So I don't, whoever owns this house. Oh, let's go. So whoever owns this house, if you see this video, you need to maintain your home a little bit better. Come on, you have too much money to leave your home like this. $20 million. <laughs> yeah, man. But you can't beat the view though. I mean, this is what they pay for right here. Yeah. And then this is useless. It's just beautiful, but serves no purpose. Pool should be that color. Yeah, it should be clean up. And then, you know, they have this little thing right here. So we can't go inside, but you get the idea. Gorgeous home, but not maintained. All right, let's go to the next one. You, they don't like you in the island? Nah, well. <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, because I keep fighting. Who you fight? Who you fight in this island, man? <laughs> There's nothing but beautiful views and wine. <laughs> Who do you fight, man? <laughs> I mean, oh, I got smashed over from some Argentinians. Dang. What did he do? They rushed me. Why? Oh, I don't know. I was drunk, but I assume it was my fault. But oh. I seen one, one another time. I seen one of them, so I smashed them, and then I got taken to uh, Auckland on a police boat. Damn! I was on probation for nine months. Guys, meet the only person to get arrested <laughs> in the rich <laughs> island in New Zealand because it's fighting. <laughs> yeah, it's good off the island, brother. Wow. No good. Can they ban you off the island? I don't know. I don't really know. I haven't been banned yet, so. Let me guess, the, jail, the jails out here, they give you guys ice cream and, and chocolate cakes, right? Oh, uh, yeah, right. <laughs> Did you want a cup of uh, water with that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Juice, juice boxes, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, that really makes you angry. Yeah, your boss, your boss was telling me they have topless beaches and stuff out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you guys nude beaches out here? Yeah, supposedly I have a bit. Wow. That's where you need to go. You won't fight, I promise you. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, these views are crazy nice. Wow. Guys, the views out here are freaking amazing. I mean, check this out. So you have all of these homes right there and then you have a, a beach right here. Out here, the water is so like perfectly bluish green. Yeah, yeah. Wow, and it's, it's like as hot as it is, as well at the moment, it's, the water is pretty cold. Yeah, uh, it's pretty cold, but it's nice. Yeah, especially after a day of working. Yeah, wow, it's really nice. Is there a so, we are at the second property, and the owner is. Oh, straight up. Do you, do you need that? Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Hold is on, it, boss. It's locked? Yeah. It oh. should have no, been. We'll All right. We're trying to see the second property. Uh, the, the owner is out currently. So we're about to try to break in in this one as well to show you guys a little bit what the homes look like. But this area here, Wahiki, is uh, basically, it's, it's, it's wine country. You know, this area, there's like people living on top of these mountains here. And then they have like vineyards all over, all over the area. You can see some over there. All right. So, so that's what it is. Just trying to show you guys something before I go sit down and have some wine. And then I invited this gentleman to come and drink a couple more with me later. They have to get rid of the vehicle, change their clothes. We're going to have some booze talk shit and then carry on the, uh, the trip when I head back to the, the downtown core. It's just it's just only one house over here, right? It's not like this a, is just one. Just house. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. How long have you guys been doing this job? When it started this week, on Monday. Oh, we've been waiting. We've been waiting for the job for like the last two, three weeks. When is she getting done? 
Hey? What is she getting done in the house? Uh, her windows and doors. Oh, windows and doors. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. She's got doors just in. get a new joinery. Yeah. So we do plastering and we just do this type of wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's nice. Fix up some of the cracks. Yeah. <laughs> Maintenance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. All right. So he used the high speed method, which basically jump over the wall. That's the fastest one. All right. Yeah, so. we're in. We're in. Thank you. We in. So as you can tell, they're doing a lot of maintenance out here right now. I met the right people to show me this property here. And one thing I'm noticing here is like it's like I said, it's mostly about views, you know. Otherwise, the home itself looks all right. I don't want to film inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the main house. Oh, that's the main house. So that one right there is uh, the garage or something? Yeah, that's the garage. Wow. So this is the main house over here. Okay. Wow. Yeah, we we went we went to um. It's a clean pool. Oh yeah, that's the they have a small pool right here. Okay. I'm gonna try to get a little bit closer to to this so you can see. This is the pool area. Small size but decent. Oh, you were working on that? Yeah, get them at a most. Yeah. Around. Now we just got these doors. Oh, she got very new doors out here go and windows. Okay. Here's a nice view just over here. Wow, no, this is what she's paying for right here. Yeah. Is this view. Wow. Imagine that. If you come this way a bit more, you can see more of the beach. Okay. So they're doing a lot of work right now as you can see all these windows and, and doors she's redoing all this stuff oh yeah guys look at this view this is nice that's the beach area right there and you are secluded on top over here and just have this peaceful beautiful landscape Money's good, huh? Money's really good. <laughs> when they say sometimes the, the best things in life are free, I'm like, I don't know about that. Like what? Like, like what? Like <laughs> they, say, they say you can't, you can't have fun when you're rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know? Don't tell me life and things are free, you know? Exactly. You come here, you can't get it for free. You can't get it for free. <laughs> The best things in life are not free. <laughs> you gotta pay for it. So, you know, this is just a quick overview of what goes on here. This is nice. So how long before this is all done with? Oh, uh, we'll finish uh, Friday. Friday? We'll finish this Friday. Okay, right on. Wow. We, we got this job and another job to do. Yeah. Before Friday. Wow. Easy work, but easy work. Yeah, no, this is, uh, this is nice, man. Oh, man, I just, the views, I can't get enough of this. You know, it's so nice. I think she'd be here long enough to see another island pop up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just islands after islands after islands after islands. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this be one it's very different, you know, in the US a lot of times people value space, right? Yeah. So when, yeah, you have, yeah, when you're a multi-millionaire, you want that space. Because yeah. even if they have a home like this, they will have nobody around. Like yeah. they will have the whole but here, you, you barely have space back there. There's a neighbor right next to you. Mm. It's all location. At least you can pop your windows open and just have that view right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. This is nice. Yeah, we just need a bit for yeah, and I'll wait for you guys at the vineyard, whatever. You're wrong. You want to get on here? What is I'll that? I'm you the same fucking thing. Oh, oh, there's another floor. Yeah. Another outdoor area here. Let me show you guys real quick what's going on here. Beautiful doors. 
Dang. No, that's all right. I get to see plenty here. Man, this is where you have your bikini parties out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. This is all right. Oh, the poisonous? Yeah, don't, <laughs> don't touch them. <laughs> like, this guy got jokes, man. I was like listening, like, oh man, tell me more about this. And he got his hands all over. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, I've noticed he's got a lot of different trees, plants. Yeah. Yeah. The amount of times that we've been here, we only just touched this one yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. No, it's gorgeous. I mean, she has the palm trees. She has the different. She has like a whole full garden in here, with different type of you know plants. This is beautiful. I wouldn't want to walk up here every day though. No, I know that's the thing. Imagine if you got shopping, right? Yeah, you your grocery. Because her cars don't go all the way down. It stops right here, and if it's raining, you're getting wet. If you're watching the, the Milton Millionaire, you need a better designer. <laughs> like an underground, underground tunnel or something. She got her Range Rover in there. Beautiful location, but some of the features of the home are not really there. All right. All right. We broke into house number two for you guys. All right. Now, it's time to go get some Jesus juice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> thinking about roughly um oh, we won't be too long bro we'll be about 30 30 all right yeah, you guys on whatsapp or WhatsApp. or WhatsApp. just whatsapp you know to talk to text oh, oh. so you guys are just gonna find me inside or what because yeah, i don't know how can, big this place is yeah we can we can do that we'll just come back and i'll, I'll come in or something and come and grab you okay sounds good yeah so see you guys shortly. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. We'll Thanks so much. Uh, yeah. All right. Thirty thirty will be will we'll be here anyway. All right. Sounds good, man. See you soon. See you, bro. All right. So here I was at Mud Brick, the place that was highly recommended to me. This was originally my plan, so I was glad to finally arrive here. And the wind was blowing, and the area is just so beautiful. But I was still depending on these strangers at the same time because they were supposed to ride me back down. But I was thinking, you know what? Even if they don't come back up, it's okay. I'll find my way. So I went ahead and started enjoying the vineyard. Hey, good luck. Thank you, man. I will do. <laughs> All right, guys. So I made it to Mudrick. This was completely unexpected. The beautiful thing about traveling, you always meet nice people. You just have to put yourself out there. So Mudrick is the place I was talking to this gentleman and he recommended. It's very, very beautiful. And you can see most of the couples, people chilling out here. But I'm gonna get myself a table, give me a you know bottle of wine, and then uh, and then check it out. So so they have the tasting room on the lower path, and uh, that's what I'm gonna be doing. You know, I'm gonna start this journey with the tasting room. You gotta taste the wine first. The 